Okay, the bears are finished. And now I'm going to start working on the waterfalls. So we start with the upper level. I have gone ahead and painted the stair steps, washed in, I've painted the rocks and washed in the areas where the water will be falling down because I want the dark underneath the fallen water. But then I also have the water that is cascading or that is in the stream before it goes over the waterfall. And so that shows up here. And we get a little little bit here. And this is just a mixture of my white plus ultramarine blue. Just a little glimpse of light is catching that. Little touch of sunlight is just catching that top edge. And then the water just cascades over that. And I use a mixture of my mud plus more ultramarine blue plus white. And I don't want this to just be totally solid coming down. I want some of the dark to show through so that you get the feeling that that's coming over the rocks. To make another mixture that's just a little bit darker. And this again is mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. And I've added more ultramarine blue into that and then plus some white. So it makes just a purple. But that, that just comes over the that cascades over the dark, that washed in area. That washed in area is dry, so that makes it, just gives me some texture. And then I add some lighter color in there. I do that on all the levels. Just come down here. Now I've got to be careful around my little cub's head. I'm going to leave that, let that be darker behind his head. Now I come back and I make my little tears here where the, the light catches the water as it comes over the, the edge. So that's brighter. And here's even some pure white here. The sun just catches that coming through the trees. The upright plane, this is like painting steps. The upright plane receives less light, so it's darker. The flat top plane receives more light from above, so it, it catches the light. And this gets, there's uneven. It's not just totally flat because those rocks are uneven and the water splashes up and we get some of that water splashing. Now here I'm going to, this is a little bit bigger body of water here, so I'm putting some dark in here and then I'm going to bring my light back over it because you get at the bottom of these you get the water's churned up and gets kind of foamy at the bottom of the or where the water falls into that next little pool it gets there's foam and surf and all bubbled up and everything there so that's that's lighter but then it's it's the lightest at the edge what comes over. So I've got my rocks in here. I've saved my rock color so I can come in and make some variations. And I can also bring some of that rock color into some of this area that's just give that feeling of the rocks underneath. Now this is foam and all churned up here, but it's in shadow so it's not going to be just pure white. And I don't want it pure white because I don't want it to interfere with our the head of our little, little cub there. So 
fun painting waterfalls. It took me a little while to learn how to do this, but I've learned if I go ahead and wash my rocks in first, let them dry, that really makes it easy to get that feeling then of, of the texture of the water falling down. It really makes a difference. Now my pool down here is, this is a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus a little bit of mud. This is a deeper pool that my cub is drinking out of. And this is in shadow down in here. So this is going to be darker and actually I'm going to pull some of my rock color down into that water because it's reflecting down in. And as the water comes, become, comes closer to the viewer, I add a little bit of turquoise thalo blue into that. I've added some thalo blue and then a little turquoise thalo blue. As it gets closer, it gets warmer, greener. Um, so that just helps give depth to the painting. The ultramarine blue, the ultramarine blue plus mud mixture is a little bit duller. It's not as vibrant, so it drops back. Whereas the thalo blue and the thalo turquoise blue are brighter colors, they're more intense. So that comes forward. And once I get all this blue in here, then I can just pull my rock reflections down into that. I want to bring some blue under here. I'm going to change to a little bit smaller brush. Just, again, there's going to be going to be some foam and stuff back here, which will kind of accentuate him. I'm going to bring these rocks down a little bit here to just accent his head, little baby's head. I guess that's a little girl head. That's supposed to be a little girl cup, so we'll accentuate her head. And then we've got little foam on the water, and then here we get reflections of the waterfall. Let me pull this back a little bit. See a little more of the pond. So before this set of waterfalls, I will have a little shaft of light coming through here. And this just makes that edge of the water come forward. And these are going to be some purple lilies in here. And then there will be lilies in there. It was Veterans Day a few days ago. And I just wanted to ask you a favor is next time you're out and about and you see somebody either in uniform or wearing a, a veteran's cap or something, you know, we just don't have to thank our veterans on just wait till Veterans Day to say thank you. Do that every time you see them. Just go up and say, sir, may I shake your hand? Ma'am, may I shake your hand? I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your service to our country. It, we are so fortunate to live here in the United States. It's, I work with a Chinese Bible study at my church and goodness gracious when I hear about the freedoms we have that they don't have I'm just all the more appreciative. So next time you see a veteran just take a moment to say go up and say thank you. We really appreciate all that you do for us and they're just very very special people they've really sacrificed a lot for us now I'm going to bring a little bit of my little bear cub color down in here because she's reflecting down into the water too 
Oops, that was too light. Now I'm going to bring, I bring some of the darker color across that. In fact, what I'm going to do here is just do some of her color here. Some lighter color here, yeah. It's probably too white, but I can come back and, and fix that. But I want her reflecting down into the water. So I'm going to bring some of the, the darker colors across that. Not quite happy with that. Let me see here. Reflections are usually just a little bit darker than the what is what the object reflecting. Sometimes you have to play with this. Reflections go straight down into the water. And sometimes you just, it takes a little bit to get them just the way you want them. But this water is really, is rapidly moving and so it's, it's not smooth. So we have kind of striations in the water. These just come across. I need to get all those little little white spots covered. Be real careful on the canvas. To... Okay, let's see if we can get this now. We're going to have some. Now I'm just taking a clean brush and just coming across that. Also going to bring some of my rock color down here. This will come in behind the lilies. This will give a dark for the light hitting that foliage. coming across here, coming in behind the sunflowers and hitting that water. And then there's a line of foam along the base of the rocks that it collects along the base of the rocks. Cut our little foam in here. Again, this water is real churned up and rough. And then we'll have some foam along the bottom of these rocks. So it just collects along there. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll get a email every time I post a new one. Also visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. And you can subscribe to my blog also and you'll get a, an email every time I make a new post. And I'll show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting on my blog. So you can go to that and, and see, get more additional material and just follow along. So there we go. I still have a little more work to do with that, but that is, that is basically how I paint the, the waterfalls and the little pond there. I thank you, and you just have an absolutely delightful day.